Welcome everyone. We're going to do a quick uh, prospector guide before we do any of that crazy stuff. Let's go over the items that we have. So we have our squirrel here who has um, after one turn. I actually haven't even seen what it does. I think after one turn he probably gets one attack. So he's got one HP, one attack. Uh, we can pluck our eye out for some extra coin. Pull our finger off for some extra coin and we can steal a card. Now we probably won't be using any of these items. The only one we'll probably be technically like using is maybe the squirrel but i don't think honestly we'll be using any of the items we'll go over the deck real quick we got wolf we got stink bug stout uh mantis that we've upgraded twice a coyote a beehive and then this was a death card brick um which is actually very pretty darn good so uh, we might have got a little lucky with the draw but either way we're going to go right into the prospector fight and we're going to figure out the best way to beat him he is going to take our life and we do have to beat him twice, but we get the smoke. Uh, now, the main thing you got to worry about with the Prospector is after he loses his first candle, he is going to take your creatures. So he is going to... Um, so after the first one, after you knock, knock all his... Well, do enough damage to where he's going to lose one of the candles. He's going to hit all of your creatures and they're going to turn into gold mines so uh, you lose everything you have on the board and then uh, you get a second or two to relax because he's going to have to destroy those in order to get to you which is good and bad the pack mule is also very important so once you defeat the pack mule it has a bunch of extra cards under it so then um, you get a, a bunch of extra card advantage essentially so uh, the cot we do have to kind of worry about a little bit here but it's this pack mule that we really want to we want to focus on and see if we can dump down uh, once uh, a card bearing this jewel is struck. A B is created in your hand. A B is defined as one power and one health. So uh, we could. I mean, honestly, not a bad play would be something like. Um, we don't want to go too hard in the paint here. But let's start stacking up bones. Let's go ahead and uh, grab four bones right away. Throw the beehive down. And honestly, I think that's all we're going to do here. We're not going to get too aggressive. We don't have any of our um, big creatures. Actually, it might not be a bad idea since exactly we don't have any of our big creatures out or anything. I think we are just going to throw down uh, the four bones there. Now, this anything, like I said, anything on the board right now is going to get waxed in just a second. So we're actually going to throw the squirrel down as well just to see what the upgrade is going to be for it. The quicker we can do this, the better. Yeah, so he turns into a 1-3. That's actually pretty darn good. Uh, now, again, we really want to destroy this pack mule. So we are going to... Mm, probably draw from our hand. We have a squirrel. We have some stuff we can sacrifice. Now, Mantis, as tempting as it is to just throw down right away, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to throw... Uh, essentially, well, initially I was going to throw the bee down. And I think I still will. We will lose some our way, but again, the big, the big, the big thing here is that we want to, uh, we want to be able to to kill this pack mule at the end of the day. So we are going to draw another squirrel. This squirrel sigil is actually coming quite handy for us. So he's going to get waxed. Yep. One more turn until we can take, um, take the pack mule stuff essentially. Now we might have to sack uh, something halfway decent here so we can take out a lot of the his creatures but for now we are going to take this i know i'm going to get um prospector i know again uh we are probably mantis isn't our best card although it is one of our best cards um they've only got one attack so we might as well throw down and then we're going to take two here, but it's not the end of the world. So um, we are going to get, boom, all of our cards now from that. Bang, 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 bang. It's a beautiful thing. My mule enter pack. Not a big deal. We're going to take two here. Again, not the end of the world for us here. So now we have all these kind of cards that we have to work with now, which is a beautiful thing. Um, honestly, best play is probably drawing a squirrel. Again, not getting too aggressive, because once we get too aggressive, that's when we start getting ourselves in trouble. We don't need anything more than a possum to take out the rest of this wolf, which is a great thing. And then we don't need anything more than, like... We can throw, like, a squirrel down, and then... 
throw the stout down to be honest and just now, now we're in at least a decent position to get stuff done again we're not too worried about the wolf cup he is going to take all three of our spots here which could be detrimental at the end of the day but we're going to draw we're honestly going to start stacking on squirrels now because he will take at the end of this turn so we have options we can we can actually go for like a double sacrifice in order to keep him from taking all of our spots um or we can just let him take all our spots stack up on cards we have mantis i know we have another uh death card in the pile that's very very good so we're honestly we're just gonna roll with it bang 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 he loses he's gonna smack us down here a little bit so bang bang and one more again not a big deal here man oh he's gonna take the fourth one too <laughs> not a big like i said it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. There's nothing we can do here. So we're going to stack on our own cards. There's that brick we were looking for. Uh, we're going to let him move forward. He's going to take two here. Brick is going to come out right away. Uh, brick is going to die, unfortunately. But it's not the end of the world. Um, doesn't Again, doesn't matter what we draw here. We're going to pop it. Bang. We almost had enough to kill the Bloodhound. The Bloodhound is going to kill us, unfortunately. But um, we can just draw squirrels now throw the squirrel down and it, it doesn't really matter what we sacrifice here we're gonna win no matter well this is actually gonna guarantee us a pretty good win mantis very very good boom he's not even gonna hit the blood hand but we're gonna hit these two bots for six get a bunch of extra gold and that's how we take care of the prospector so you don't want everything you don't want to hold everything all your best cards out right at the beginning because you're just gonna wax them anyway so just throw something weak out there make sure you dump the pack mule so you get a bunch of extra card advantage that's kind of how you take care of the uh the prospector there if anyone has any questions you can comment down below don't forget to like subscribe all that kind of fun stuff watch the other inscription videos and check out the channel i do appreciate it have a great day